I appreciate this opportunity to pay tribute to Bobby Lipkin. I do wish I could attend the ceremony in person. Then again, it is appropriate in a sense that I'm tipping my hat to Bobby Lipkin, Cyberstar, through an online video. Toward, a, toward the end of a career that was cut tragically short, Bobby emerged as a leading figure in online transmission of legal wisdom to audiences that only the internet could reach. As a contributor to Ratio Juris, and especially as the founder of his own blog, Essentially Contested America, Bobby delivered his views of constitutional law to a new and hungry audience. Of course, before becoming a blogger, Bobby had already established himself in the world of traditional legal scholarship. But essentially, essentially contested America freed him from the slow cycles of law review publishing. It allowed him to be more immediate and more relevant. He combined the immediacy of online media with the sophistication of a constitutional law scholar at the top of his craft. Many bloggers write in bursts. Bobby wrote entire essays fully polished and delivered them on a very regular schedule to an eager audience. Along the way, he punctuated his posts with healthy doses of humor and humanity. Bobby's readers rocked with him as he posted his favorite music videos. They mourned along with him when he lost one of his beloved Burmese cats to tainted food. I do wish Bobby had lived to see how he had become one of the pioneers of online media and to witness how his approach to writing has affected contemporary political culture. Constitutional law, simply put, has become a central part of political debate in the United States. Indeed, Widener Law hosted one of the pivotal debates of Delaware's 2010 Senate race. The video of Republican candidate Christine O'Donnell's analysis of constitutional issues went viral and played a significant role in that race. I could only imagine Bobby Lipkin smiling as he looked on. Constitutional law is a defining issue in contemporary elections, and the Internet plays a vital role in focusing attention on constitutional issues. It is fair to describe Bobby Lipkin as a pioneer of a distinctly modern movement. Popular political intellectualism transmitted through new media. I hope Widener takes pride, as do all of us who knew and admired Bobby, in his distinctive contribution as a cyberstar. Like his colleagues and his students, I too miss Bobby's warmth, wisdom, and friendship. But I do take great comfort knowing that Bobby Lipkin touched many people throughout his life and left all of us a lasting legacy.